Hey everybody, it's Murphy Gray Hunter, and it is um, Thursday, April 25th. Guys, I just finished doing this, like, digital interview. <sighs> Such a dork. Like, you know, I'm on camera all the time, doing social media, YouTube, you know, in my cup, and all kinds of stuff, right? But for some reason, sound like a straight jackass, but... <laughs> We'll see what happens. Keep y'all posted on all that. Okay, so this video, I'm so glad that that seven day um, tarot deck challenge is over because I had some videos I've been wanting to do, but um, I had to wait because I was doing one video a day. And um, and actually there's two videos that I'm going to remake because I was doing some on some other books that I bought. But I want to remake those because I don't really like the way they came out. Uh, so I'm going to redo those. All right. Well, let me show you what I bought. So those of y'all who um, do cleansings, I do a cleansing once a week. And then I do a big, huge cleansing on the whole house, the property, my vehicles once a month or as needed. So when I do cleansing, I don't know about y'all, but when I do cleansings, I gotta take all my stuff down and I usually have like a little box and I just put stuff in there and I'll just take it downstairs do what I gotta do take it outside and then I'll come back and I'll put it all up but like if you needed something in a, sometimes I, just a pain you know or like if I'm gonna go um smudge my daughter's house or I'm gonna go do you know friend whatever then you're like trying to find a bag to put everything and I said screw that I'm gonna make myself a little case so I made myself a little cleansing case now I was gonna buy this bigger one that I saw on Amazon it was like $45 I'm like do I really need a little roly-poly full of stuff like don't have that many demons in my life that I need to have such a big thing and I'm like no I don't need that <laughs> um, so I got this one at Walmart and it was less than $20 it's so cute right this was in the um, where the crafts stuff is um and you know they have um they have it over there like where you have these containers like to put pens and things like that so it comes with a little lock on the top all right so i am going to um show you how this opens and then i'll come right back to this view and then pull everything out okay go on. let's turn it this way I love it. It's so cute. So you just open it up and you can use a lock if you want to, but I'll mess around and lose a lock. So it's one of these and you just open it up, open it up. And so it has these cute little drawers in here and then a big one down here to put stuff. Man, I really love this. I wish it was a little bit bigger. You know, <coughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. A little bit bigger so I can put more stuff in. But actually, this is everything that I need because this is a pretty deep, um, you know, area down here. So, where are the keys? Here? I'm lying. Where are the keys? Oh, right here. Yeah, so they're just there. So then when you're done, you just close it back up. And you're ready to go to the next cleansing. All right, so I'm going to put y'all back and I'm going to go through and show y'all everything that I have in here. Okay, so here we go. Um, just open it up like so, and let me show y'all what I got. It's I, I love it. I need to drink water first. I feel like I'm dry, I can't breathe. It's allergies, guys, I'm so ready for spring to be over because during spring, my allergies are like no joke. I mean, I have allergies all year round, but worse than spring. Just like everybody else, right? All right. Ugh. Let me show you what I got. On, on the top shelf, I have this ginormous lighter. I couldn't pass this up. I found this at Walmart. So cute, right? Then I have some of these matches. These matches are those, mat they're $1.95. I got these at some witchy shop. These are uh, strawberry, and these are cinnamon. So I did just like this. They're just a lot 
and they smell like cinnamon. So, you know, they say, <coughs> they say that you, you can use these um, when you're, come on. Like if you need to use the smoke, right? Mmm, mm, that smells really good. God, that smells like straight cinnamon. Mmm. Mm. That, that smells strawberry one. It's been a while since I've used these. I have a few more in my... I have this container here. Full of incense. I have these throughout the house. <laughs> I got this during Halloween, this plastic cauldron. During Halloween time. And I put a bunch of incense in them. And I have some smaller ones by my altar that I use to put you know to keep incense. Let's 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 listen. Let's smell this one. Oh this one smells really good. Oops. This is a strawberry one. It's okay. Okay, let's Alright, let's try this one. Ooh, this one this is <laughs> this is really nice. You know, um, it's just like the incense. I've never seen incense matches before. So, anyway, I got those two and I put them in here. Um, for the only thing just to light stuff, but they smell good. Okay, so I have these two in my top drawer here. And then I also have like four of these. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put those that I made um, in here. I have some that I made down there um let me get them so on. glad that <laughs> y'all were not recording oh my god i hurt my leg i almost tripped <laughs> i'm so clumsy like how do i trip from here to there yeah that would have been horrible <laughs> okay so um okay so you guys know how i made whoops you guys know how i made these um candles if you remember going back to my video and seeing how I made these little tea light candles uh, for protection and, you know, um, tranquility, love, um, help me now. What is this one? Um, opportunities. How about to say outrageous laughter? I'm telling you something wrong with my brain. And then for love. Okay. So, and then this one was for healing. But I like to make these so that way you can burn them in houses. So I think I'm going to make a few more like this. I'm going to make one for healing, one for protection, and one for peace and love and tranquility. So when you're doing cleansing in a house, you can just burn this. I think I'm going to do that. That's going to be so much fun. Okay. So I have those candles there. In my second drawer, I have a bag of Palo Santo. Mmm, that smells so good. This little bag with two little chunks. Guys, I got this spray. No. Oh, it's up there. I have a I have a spray like this. This one's white sage. But I have a spray like this. That's Palo Santo. It smells good. Okay. And then I have some Palo Santo um, incense. Mmm, that smells really good too. All right, so that's in my second drawer. You know, um, and like I said, it depends on how much um, cleansing you do. Like, if this is what you do for a living, and obviously you're probably going to need a lot more supplies than what I do because I don't do it for a living. I go and I, I do it in my own home, and then of course I do it for family and friends who need you know a little a little mojo in their house, a little protection. Okay, All right, on the other side. I have four of these. Let me see if I can say this. Gascarillas. Okay. These cascarillas that you get at the Botanica. I got these for a dollar each. These are just eggshell. So I think I'm gonna make a video showing you guys how I make I make some like this, but these already came in a little container. When I make them, I make them in ice ice trays. I make powder and then I make the wet batch and the wet batch is like this. So I make them in an ice tray that has the long cubes that look, they're like for water bottles. So the, the um, ice cubes are long. So I make 
the the powder the wet um, eggshell in those long ones so that way it comes out like chalk so I can write on doors on wherever I need to so I'll be writing on there demon keep your ass out of here <laughs> no I'm just saying like if you want to write sigils or whatever okay this is why I can't do no interview because I'm just like a big goof I'm just like am I supposed to be serious so like don't hire her she's a fruit loop <laughs> okay and in this cool container I have I would say apple juice holy water is this a cute little cylinder I got this at Michael's for a dollar ninety nine. No, I take it back for a dollar. They were four for a dollar. They have them right in the front when you go to when you're gonna go pay. They have all of those like things to get you. You know all those. Oh, these are only a dollar. These are two for a dollar. Before you know it, you have a hundred dollars worth of stuff in your basket. But they're there. A hundred dollar. I mean a hundred dollars. <laughs> four for a dollar. So I have holy water in this one. Big on Satan. Right. <laughs> then I have this little rosary that a friend of mine sent me. Do you guys know that I have never owned a rosary? My uh, friend sent me one, but I gave it to my Santa Muerte. So you guys know, once you give her something, bye-bye. It's gone. It's hers. So my friend sent me this little plastic one. But yeah, I know it's plastic. But it was still a nice gesture. And there's like a little booklet. But I've never owned one. I mean, I never really had a reason to own one. That's probably why I don't have one. I mean, I don't need one. But I just thought that I would put it in here. I'm like, what are you going to do with it? Mm, not a clue. Alright, so let's see what else we got. In the bottom drawer, I have some bay leaves. From the dollar store. Guys, these are a dollar from the dollar store. And you get a whole bunch. I mean... this and I've already opened this bag so mind you I've already used I've already used a lot of them so let's just put them back in here I use bay leaves uh, bay leaves are really good for protection you can burn them um, you can place them in a little cup of salt if you guys saw how I had it and if y'all follow me on Facebook y'all saw how I made one I made like a little clear cup and I put salt and I put a bunch of bay leaves in there. I put a little um, tea light candle like this. And I put a, a quartz about this size, a clear quartz in there. And that helps to rid, rid your house of negativity. Um, so, but anyway. Or you can get these and you can smash them up on top of a um, charcoal. So, for a dollar, got those. Then I have some salt. I got this little container at the dollar store as well. And then I have charcoal tablets. I have some loose sage because I like to burn um, loose sage on top of charcoal tablets. So I'm going to make one. This is just sage by itself, but I'm going to make one that is um, good for um, not just basic protection but also good if you're trying to remove something a little bit darker in your house so I'm going to make another one so you I'll have a couple to choose from then I have this mm, this smells so good this um this is a juniper breeze juniper breeze I'm thinking of of a bath and body juniper sage stick Mmm, did I say sage stick? Juniper smudge stick. <laughs> this smells so good. I could not make a serious video if I wanted to, right? Mmm, this smells so good. And these burn really, really well. So when you burn this, this is just like the rosemary and lavender. If you make uh, smudge bundles um, out of anything else they burn so so much and like this one smokes a lot so make sure if you're going to burn one of these juniper um tree ones you are going to have a window open or a fan because this smokes a lot but it smells amazing Ooh, it smells so good 
we have a lot of juniper trees here so i do collect a lot of the berries and um and a lot of the uh the, the tree the to make these i'm telling you guys this is a time to start getting your stuff ready to start harvesting um because you definitely can go and get your own stuff all right and in this bag i have my big sage my sage smudge stick smells amazing mm. now if you have a few of these and you want some loose ones just take one and start breaking it apart and that way you can have some loose one i grow my own sage this is not from my 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 garden this is one that i bought at the powwow but um this stuff i um i dry from my i have two sage plants um outside and so i take them and i dry them and i make my own stuff okay and then i have some powdered eggshell this is just plain eggshell um actually no this has lavender in it as well Close right because if not, it's going to be all in my stuff. Okay. Then I have some camphor, some camphor um, incense. Camphor is really good for cleansing as well. Now I have camphor tablets. Um, if y'all are on my brujas, y'all probably saw that video that I made. I don't know some time ago talking about camphor. Um, there's two different tablets one that smells like menthol which i like and then the other one that smells like mothballs which i don't like so the ones that i that smell like mothballs i have back there in a little baggie because whew, i can't stand the smell of those um i think because i use them to throw around the our property for the snakes because snakes don't like the smell of that so honey i will throw them all day long it will smell like a freaking you know um old age home around here sprinkle them around but as far as in here, I, I can't. So inside, I buy the camphor tablets from the Indian markets. Uh, they In the Indian markets, they have a section in the store where it's just for offerings. I think that's so awesome. Um, that's where I got my Ganesh uh, statue from. And they have so many amazing incense there. Super, super cheap because they're a dollar a piece, like for these. Um, they have so many different incense and they have all different kinds of statues. If you like Ganesh, you like Buddha, if you like any of the Hindu goddesses or gods, you're going to find them at the Indian markets. But they also have a bunch of nice little dishes and things that you can use for offerings. Plus they do sell the actual offering things. So camphor is one that they sell in this, it's like in a little round container and you get a whole bunch for like four bucks. I've been using the same bottle um, for almost a year now because there's so many in there um, and those smell like Vicks so those are no problem I'm going to put a few of those in a baggie in here because by my front door I put two of those in a little saucer of water by my front door and I also have one in my bedroom that's just to make sure that there's no negative you know negative energy in your house um, you know I'm like I do not need nothing negative um, I trip over my own feet. I don't need anybody helping me. <laughs> so I keep I keep that. But um, when I went to the Botanica, uh, the green and white store, he had these. Um, so I bought a whole bunch of them. So I use these to walk around the house when I'm doing a the cleansing. Then I have my, this, um, I believe this came from one of the vultures. So over there by... Um, because you guys know we live in the country, but over there towards the shopping centers, there's this huge tower. I don't know what type of tower it is, but it's it's some kind of tower that says keep away because you can get electrocuted. So what do I do? I walk around there because uh, I want to live on the dark side. No, um, but it's because there's tons and tons of big vultures and different types of birds way up on the top. And um, I showed that one time on my Facebook. And if I can find a picture of it, I'll put it at the end so you can see. But if not, um, till next time. But anyway, they drop a lot of their feathers. And so right there where they're at is a bunch of little restaurants. So there was, um, we were in line for Popeye's. That was my husband was here. 
he loves him some Popeyes. So he's like, oh, let's go to Popeyes. So I'm, we're standing there in the drive-thru and I see this feather just on by the, you know, by the grass. And I said, oh, I'm going to go get that feather. And I just jumped out and I went and got the feather. And so every time I go there, I park right there by that big thing because sometimes the feathers just fall or you can see them all in the grass. So I run out and I collect them. I have so many feathers. They're back here. But um, this was the smaller one that I can use um, when I'm doing my um, smudging. Let me get the big one that I that I normally use for the house, but it doesn't fit in my thing. Okay, Hold on. so this is the one that I use in the inside of the house. Like this is when I'm doing stuff here. This one I bought at the, um, where did I buy this? I bought this at um, either Pagan Pride or I bought, the, no, I bought this at the Pow Wow um, a couple of years ago. And uh, it's just so beautiful. And I mean, I think I'm going to try to do this because look, we have big feathers like this. That feather I just showed you, the black feather, is one of the smaller feathers. I have feathers that are this big because we have birds out here that are ginormous. And so um, this is just, they're just put together with this little twine. And then that's just glued on there. I paid $20 for this. Isn't that beautiful? So I use this when I'm around the house doing my smudging. Now, obviously, you don't need to have a feather, but... I definitely love having a feather, um, especially, you know, everything that it represents. Um, and then my cousin sister made me this one and she put a little bell on it and a little shell. Isn't that super cute? Like she used a twig from outside and connected the feather to it. So cute. I absolutely love this, but that doesn't fit in there either. So I had to get one of the baby feathers. So that's why I got this one. And then the last thing I have in there is a bottle of Florida water. I have smaller bottles, um, but um, I'm just going to keep this big one because it fits in there just fine. And, you know, so you can buy little things like this. Like I bought these at the dollar store. So you can buy small things like this so you can put your ingredients in. Um, and, of course, they open up here on the top. So you definitely can buy things like this if you wanted to put your Florida water and something like this. If you're gonna put your Florida water in here, I would definitely put it in a plastic baggie and put it in just to make sure it doesn't leak, you know? Um, I, I, I've used these for lotions and stuff like that so when we travel, but I've never used it like liquid. So, but I definitely would put it in a plastic baggie. When I open this, it's going into a plastic baggie um, just to make sure because I don't want it to leak and mess up all my stuff. But anyway, that's all that I have in here. I just bought this, um, I don't know, about a week or two ago. So I still haven't finished putting everything in there. But honestly, you just really need to look at what it is that you need when you're doing a cleansing. Um, and, and depends on what type of cleansing you're doing. If you're doing just a regular house cleansing, then you know what you need. If you're doing a house blessing, that's going to be a little different. If you're doing a house blessing, you're definitely going to be using, you know, um, you're going to be using more holy water. Um, you're probably going to be using prayers. So if you have a little book of prayers, you can put that in here. So I have a little notebook that I bought. And so the book of the book of Psalms that I have, it's big and I don't want to carry it in here. So when I'm going to, what I'm going to do with that little book is that I'm going to write sections. So if I'm going to go and bless a house, because since I can't remember nothing and until it becomes very fluent with me, I'm going to make sure that I have what I need to say when I do a house blessing or when I'm doing a cleansing or when I'm going in there to remove something a little bit darker. You know, um, everyone does it completely different. So don't sit here and take what I'm saying like, oh, I got to do it that way. You don't have to do it this way. Or if you are a person who does it a certain way and you're listening to me, you're like, that's not how you do it. But this is the way Murphy Gray Hunter does it. So, you know, if if Bob does it this way or Jane does it this way, that's great. So just don't be discouraged, guys, when you're putting your little case together, uh, whether it's a little lunchbox, <laughs> the lunchbox would be, box would be so cute, or any kind of little container to put all your stuff together. Because let me tell you, this is so much easier than having to go up and down, up and down, bringing all my stuff and then having some stuff down here. I can't remember where this is. This is all in one little, you know, one little container. And everything fits. 
I have room for more stuff, which is great. Um, I think I'm going to put this salt in here because this is kind of heavy. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to put everything back. But yeah, so that's definitely what I have in here. And once I'm done, I can just close it up and put it away. I can, you know, you definitely can you know, um, store things faster. And one of the things that I always encourage, um, which is, is to make sure that you know what you need when you're doing cleansings and when you are doing protection. Cleansing and protection are completely two different things. Um, yeah, a lot of the ingredients may be the same, but the intent is completely different. And you definitely want to make sure that you have everything where you need it. Now, if you don't want to take a, have a case like this, that's fine. But just make sure you have something in your house, in your witchy room, somewhere of all your supplies together because it really does make it easier for you to have everything together when it's time for you to do a cleansing. Um, that's one of the reasons I find that a lot of witches don't do cleansings is because it's like, oh, I got to go do this and I got to go find a candle and I got to, you know, and sometimes you just don't want to do all that. But if you already have everything together, then all you have to do is just grab it and do it and get it done. So, and so beneficial. So anyway, I hope you like this video. As always, love you all and bless it be. Bye.